Nigel, are you looking forward to a lot of those past winners coming down and hearing a lot of the great history that's gone on? I've been uh, sifting through so much old television footage. It's absolutely crack up. Um, you know, just about what it was like in the 90s and the 80s and things like that. Oh, the 90s? <laughs> I don't the 90s really remember was the 90s. yesterday, Perian, for goodness <laughs> sake. Holy hell. Yeah, it's um, going to be yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be great. You know, we, I grew up watching it and it was... Uh, it was a you know it was a real event for our family. Like I can I have vivid memories of my granddad, my grandparents chasing it, and 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 you know so I don't know whether the tapes are still there, probably not. But yeah, you know, and and we'd always we'd, we'd make an event of it of sitting down and watching it as a family. And yeah, so it's going to be great to meet a lot of those former winners and um, and and you know just have chew the fat with them. I suppose talk talk about their experiences and what what went well and what didn't go so well and things. And, yeah, and the other thing, and I sort of have to keep reminding myself of this, currently there's only 49 of us yeah, you know, who, who can say we've won it. Well, actually, there's less than that. A couple of couple have passed on. But, you know what I mean? Like, there's only 40, and there will, by Saturday night, there'll be 50 people who, who can say they've won the Young Farmer of the Year. And it, that's pretty cool. And it's a really exclusive group. So it's, uh, it's a real honour to be part of that group. Radio Live Rural Exchange.